So, if we have requirements, we also need to classify them so we can understand what sort of things to expect or want in a customer project. The Forbes Plus model is one way to uh, classify all the collected requirements from the customers and stakeholders and other interest groups. The Forbes Plus model is basically a shorthand for functionality, usability, reliability, performance, supportability, and plus meaning the other uh, requirements such as design constraints, implementation, interface, and physical requirements. Basically, what the Forbes Plus is, is a way to uh, divide the requirements into functional and non-functional requirements. For example, the functionality, the functional requirements, define uh, what actions and functions the system can execu execute. Uh, for example, these mean that how the system works, what it does, and what happens when we use the uh, software. Uh, the functional requirements are all requirements that define how the system behaves with inputs it gets from users or external systems and outputs uh, what it produces. So basically on this list uh, we have some functions and descriptions on functionally si architecturally significant functional requirements. Of course the functional requirements uh, meaning something that the system does are not the all the requirements. Actually, the non-functional requirements are in many cases actually more important for the success of the product than the no functional requirements. The non-functional requ requirements are everything that sets some demand on software. Uh, are they related to usability or reliability or performance or supportability or anything? Uh, it can be even something simple like that the installation of the software cannot exceed uh, the size of one Blu-ray disc or possibly that the system has to be delivered, the software has to be delivered in package smaller than 50 megabytes so that the mobile phone networks don't have to have access to wireless uh, network to be able to download or update the game. Okay, so uh, the non-functional requirements in Forbes model, model these basically mean usability as uh, related aspects, reliability, performance and supportability related aspects and the plus means everything else. On usability there's things related to human attributes. Aesthetics, is, is it intuitive, is it nice, is it consistent, is the user interface consistent, is it easy to learn, how the uh, user documentation supports the, see, uh, the uh, system and for on human attributes something simple like is this fun to use, is this uh, easy enough to use or with games is the user experience what was intended. Uh, if we are making a horror game which only manages to annoy or make people laugh we probably are doing something wrong or if people don't like what they see or consider that the game is not fun to play then probably there's some problems with the design of the product. Okay, so in reliability, for example, things like accuracy, mean time to failure, software criticality, uh, output predictability, and recoverability are things that affect, uh, for example, many systems, how reliable they are. Similarly with performance, how fast it achieves functionality, how efficient it is, how much it, does it use resources, how quickly the system responds and if something fails how fast can we recover from error situation. Now, these sort of things uh, dictate performance and in many cases are especially in industry important aspect because uh, speed and efficiency and even resource consumption is sometimes 
directly related to how much profit we can make with the software. The supportability means more or less that how much money we have to spend on keeping the system operational. How easy is it to maintain? How easy is it to adapt to new platform? How easy is it to test or localize or install the new system? So basically these sort of aspects which affect how much money you have to spend on support or selling your product to new customer. The other non-functional requirements are more or less related to physical si requirements, size, the physical attributes of the system or the box the system came in, the material, shape, size, weight, if we are talking about larger system, for example installing some uh, auxiliary uh, system on board boat or airplane, the weight can be actually a real problem. Also in system implementation like what standards we have to follow, uh, what programming languages are supported by the target platform, what sort of database we have to use, can we have limited access to computing resources or do we have to uh, maintain some sort of a scheduler to, for access to processing systems, uh, what operating systems we have to adhere to and other things which are beyond the functional requirements, usability, reliability, supportability as, and performance aspects of the FERPS model.